slowed down version of it for you that uh, we always do and hot damn it's good to be back home again uh, good to see you all folks it's been too long uh, I'm not even going to go there it's you know how life gets in the way and just uh, shit to do all the time but I can report that it's finally starting to slow down uh, just right now it's it's just right now starting anyway that was a uh, <laughs> A different point of view on Tony Rice's Stony Point. Uh, that's the t tune I'm playing here, or attempting to play. Um, I'm going to uh, set the camera in closer on the left hand now and uh, show you, break it down, play it for you in segments. That was the slower version of it there, and I can't play it slow. I can't play it fast either, but it's, it's harder to play slow, I guess, because, you know, I normally if I practice it I practice it up to speed and I just don't ever play it that slow anyways bullshit I'm going to hung the camera in on the left hand break it up in segments and explain some stuff and tell you what I'm doing and some things on the right hand down here and we'll talk about it and some other things uh, we're still going to talk about saddles not on this video but it's coming so uh, <laughs> just bear with me and uh, you'll find an interesting uh, article, I think, or video, or whatever you want to call it, on saddles and acoustic guitars. So don't miss out on that. Anyway, we'll talk about all that later. Right now, let's get honed in on this neck fretboard and uh, get into Stony Point, Tony Rice semi version. I had to get me a drink of water. <laughs> now, this is not exactly Tony Rice's version. It's not note for note. Um, it's pretty close. I haven't sat down and listened to him for a long time, so I can't remember exactly how he plays it. But I know this is not exactly like his because it's got a lot of shit in it that I put in there. Just little things, you know, I changed. Uh, kind of make it my own version, I guess, so to speak. Uh, we're playing it. The root chord is going to be a... It's the root chord. F sharp minor. With the capo, I have the capo on the second fret. We're playing in E minor position, which makes that an F sharp minor chord. Uh, just so you know, in case someone's playing rhythm for you, I'm going to play it in segments like we always do, and you can stop the video between segments and go back or forward or whatever you need to do. So here we go. Thank you. 
break it up. Let me do that second part again. I uh, forgot to stop. So there it is, torn apart in segments. Uh, I want to explain some things here, go uh, tell you about some things. Uh, hold on. Uh, some things to talk about in this. The right hand. Uh, there's a couple of things I got to mention in this tune, and I'll get when I get to them, I'll stop and tell you about them. And um, you can decide, you know, what's better, the better way for you to play it. Uh, there's some other things I want to talk about too, so I'm just going to start it. When I get to those things, I'll stop and we'll just like talk. string I'm going to call this a second fret because of the capo uh, but on the right hand we're doing this is uh, back to sweep picking again you're sweeping over four three two and one with the fourth string noted at the second fret so yeah, you may have to spend some time with that it goes tricky too. That's just it's a little bit tricky with the pick so uh, you may want to fool with it and you know figure out a better way to do it or a different way to do it. I'm not even going to explain how I'm doing it because it probably it may or may not work for you uh, you just need to know the notes and figure out uh, the right hand that works best for you. And again, I say uh, don't always uh, live by the rule that you pick down on the downbeat and up on the upbeat because that does not always apply. Uh, theoretically, it does, but uh, that's a whole other story. Uh, continuing on. Just uh, hitting the fourth string open, hammering second fret, fourth fret, and then the third string open. much all I can tell you about this tune Stony Point. I have a whole bunch of different breaks, a shitload of breaks worked up for this tune. Uh, you know, maybe in another video I could show you some of those, but that's the basics of the tune, maybe for intermediate. Uh, maybe uh, beginners could attack that, uh, you know, this, and uh, be able to work with it, but uh, it's the basic. I know that's another quick and dirty lesson, uh, and I apologize for being so long about 
getting it done. And I promise, guys and gals, things are going to slow down now, finally. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get to do all this stuff that we talked about in other videos. I want to talk about saddles again. Uh, there's a lot of things about saddles, a lot of different ways it affects your guitar. Uh, different types of saddles. It's a lot of different uh, ways they can affect the sound of your guitar. And your playing, because it sounds the way it does. Anyway, we'll get into all that on the saddle video. Um, I hope uh, you can get something from this Stony Point video that you'll be able to use something out of it. And uh, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Man, you guys are rocking. Good heavens, mercy. I appreciate all the new ones and all the old ones, the, uh, those of you that have uh, hung around. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you guys for clicking the ads. Click those ads, man. Click them. You may find something in them that uh, you like or, you know, maybe not, but it's it's not. I get paid a little bit uh, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so, so do please click the ads. It's not very much. It's just fun to log in each day and see that uh, dollar sign going up and knowing that Google owes me money. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, going to be lots of lessons to come yet, um, all kind of get old uh, fiddle tune things on guitar flat picking, how to, how to flat pick those. If you have requests, I'm going to put a request box up on my main front page of my channel. And if you have any requests, you can just uh, leave it there uh, if you don't like the inbox or whatever. So. Uh, that's a few things to come. Uh, more uh, repair works coming up too. I'm not uh, going to do the mandolin. I thought I was going to do. I mean, uh, well, I might end up doing it yet. I, don't, I guess time will tell, but uh, it's not in the near future anyway. The mandolin repair isn't, unless another one comes in between now and then, and that could very well happen. Um, I think there's an electric bass that's coming in uh, before too long. And not sure what I want. Another guitar. It may be in the mail right now. Um, just all kinds of repairs. So look for that. And I'm going to explain frets. Uh, what causes fret buzz. And how uh, you can uh, not do another video of a fret job. I'm going to actually do a video of uh, frets. <laughs> you know, why your frets buzz and uh, in-depth how to fix them. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure you'll find that interesting. Maybe can learn something, you know, new or a way to save you some money if nothing else. Anyway, thank you guys, every single one, guys and gals, for watching and commenting. Uh, I apologize again for the video being uh, so delayed. It's just it really been crazy, man. God, it's been crazy. If the world spun any faster, it would sling me right off. <laughs> uh, so anyway, thanks everyone. And Oh, Steve, if you're watching this, man, I'm, I promise I'm going to call you. <laughs> Just uh, bear with me, please. Uh, we'll get through this. So thanks everyone. I'll see you hopefully real soon. It won't be nearly as long as this video was. I hope not, man. But do stay tuned because all this shit is coming for you. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Take care. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I might do a second review on blue chip picks. I've been using one now for however long, since March, I think. And uh, you might be interested in the, the outcome of, you know, how the pick's holding up. And what I think of it after all this time and uh, different uh, situations and weather changes and uh, just everything that affects your skin and picks. So anyways, I may do that. may uh, do another review on Blue Chip. So watch for that. Got my little girl here with me. Your cue ball. You doing okay, cue ball? Ooh. Woo. Tell him. Yeah, man.
outside? Outside? Do you want to go outside? <laughs>